Hey guys, hope you're well. So in this lesson, we're going to be looking at square and cubic conversions. Now, right now, you might be thinking, Kevin, what is that? Well, let me quickly explain. So in previous lessons where we looked at converting distance, we said that with distance, we get things like kilometers, meters, uh, millimeters, and centimeters. And in that lesson, I also showed you a conversion um, that we use between all of them. So kilometers, then it was meters, then it was centimeters, and then it was millimeters. And between this one, it was a thousand. Here it was a hundred, and here it was ten. And we said that when you go, whoopsie, when you go this way, you would multiply, and then when you go this way, you would divide. But what about, I'm sure you've seen this in class, what about if we start having things like centimeters to the power of two, or millimeters to the power of three? Where do those even come from? Well, that is when we are busy with area. For example, if this is three centimeters, and this is two centimeters, then if you had to work out the area of the shape, you would say three centimeters multiplied by two centimeters, which then gives us six centimeters to the power of two. And you see, that's what this lesson's all about. How do you convert these kinds of things when there's a two over there? Or maybe you have a block, and this block looks something like this. And let, let's say this length here is five, this length is three, and this length is two. Now, if you had to work out the volume of the shape, and let's say these are all in centimeters, now, if you had to work out the volume, you would say two centimeters multiplied by three centimeters multiplied by five, and that's gonna give you 30 centimeters to the power of three. Now, if they had to ask you to change this to kilometers, well, now there's a three there. And so I'm gonna show you what to do when you have a square, when a square means there's a two, and then a cubic, which means there's a three. Okay, so that's what this lesson's all about. So here's our first example, and by the way, it's gonna be really easy, the technique that we use. So forget about the twos for now, okay? Forget about that for now. And what we need to realize is that we are going from meters, which is over here, to millimeters, which is over here. And we're gonna to have to go that way. So when you go from to the right, you multiply. So you're gonna say three, multiply by all the numbers that you pass. So you're gonna do it at 100. Now here's the trick just multiply it twice, so just do it twice. Okay, so we did 100 twice, and then the next number that we would have passed would have been 10, but just do that twice, because there's a two over there, so you just do it twice. Let's go work this out, and so that's gonna give us one, two, three, four, five, six, and that's gonna be in millimeters to the power of two. So that's all we're gonna do. Normally, you would have just said three, multiplied by 100 and then multiplied by 10. But because of the twos, you're just gonna do it twice, okay? So here is our next example. Now there's a three. Okay, so let's ignore that for now. So we're gonna go from kilometers to centimeters. So from kilometers to centimeters. And so we are going to the right-hand side. And if you go right, you multiply. So we're gonna say 1,5 multiplied by all the numbers that we pass. So we pass a thousand, but do that three times now because there's a three. So you're just gonna say times a thousand, times a thousand again. And then you're gonna, and then we would have normally done a hundred, but now you're gonna do that three times. There we go. Now this is gonna be a huge number. Wow, it's a big number. 1.5 times 10 to the power of 15. And then you're just gonna say centimeters to the power of three. Okay, here's another one. So here we're going from millimeter, which is over there, and we're going to meters, which is over there. Okay, so we're going to the left-hand side, so we will divide. So you're gonna take this number, so one, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we're just gonna divide by all the numbers that we pass. So we pass a 10, but now do that part twice, because we have a two over here. And then there is a hundred, but just do that part twice. There we go. And that'll give us 15. So that'll be 15 meters to the power of two. 
Here's our next example. So here we're going from meters cubed to centimeter cubed. Okay, so you can just think of it as going from meters to centimeters. So we're going in that direction. That means we will multiply. So we're going to say 45 multiply by all the numbers that we pass. So that's only going to be 100. But you're going to do that three times because we have a three over there, okay? Your teacher might, instead of saying it like that, they might just say 100 to the power of three. It doesn't really matter, it's the same thing. If we had to work this out, you end up with four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then that would be centimeters to the power of three.